Where are we going? We're going to the western. Okay, you know where What the is that? I don't know where I can find it. We lost it. Uh, oh, I haven't had an adventure now. How do you, know? you, know. you feel, James? Baffled. <laughs> We've arrived in Beijing, we've met the lads, and now we're off to the Forbidden City. Oh, we're going to Forbidden City too. Being told no by Becca. We are at Tiananmen Square in Beijing. It is warm. Actually, just getting photos. Don't know if you're there. How warm is this? Just like this. Absolutely. Like, probably should be wearing a hat. So hot. Just bought ourselves a couple of new fans. Tiananmen Square. With your uh, three pound bananas, bananas three pound, bit of thirty pennies, ice cream. So we failed getting into the actual Forbidden City. So we've come out to get some ice cold water and have a wander around. It's pretty pretty. <laughs> Wei Lu or something? Something along those lines. Um, we were walking for a good half an hour, so much so that I decided to get a mobike and Niall's just fanning everybody. It's nice but, place, eh? But yeah, this place is awesome. It's definitely worth the uh, blood, sweat, and tears it's taking to get here. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah, you just went to the shows, this, didn't you? So this is like really cool. But anyway, back onto my tour. <laughs> it's Starbucks. Maybe we only need three. Shit. <laughs> so what was that now? Like uh, Chinese keep you ups. How random was that? That was pretty crazy. We've just been for a Peking duck experience. How was it? Oh we're well, way back to one How was it? Yeah, good. Not as good as back after. There, I said it. It was nice, but too much, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a great day and we are off to the Great Wall Tower. Excellent. 
as we go on the hunt for the Beijing bear, I've got a couple of my mates here with me. First of all, Shay. We found him in Cuba. Doesn't speak a lot of English, but uh, he's a great tackler of bears. But we'll see if we'll find him. Over and out. We've arrived to our starting point and it's tough work already in this heat and this steepness. I'm out of breath already and we've literally just started. But views. Very impressive. <laughs> you take that. Just get some shots on the stick. Look at that gone flight. And there wasn't something similar to what is China today. There were like several states fighting each other. So like there were like walls between three or four, five states. Something that is similar to nowadays China. He basically removed all the walls in the middle and kept only the walls in the north and then made up more walls to connect them to basically defend uh, what is what was China from Mongolia like from uh, the Mongol tribe that would invade uh, nomadic tribes that would just like raid villages the one that we are working on today it's from the Ming dynasty the last dynasty that actually added something to the wall which was between the 13 1300 and 1600. For this one, they kind of finished the budget outway, so it's only out restored, and uh, we're gonna hike in that direction. And after like a two hour hike, we're gonna get to the completely unrestored one. That's like really the original one from back then. Amazing. God, it would have been tough doing it then as well. Jesus Christ. But when love goes away. So, where are we now, lads? Do you know? The top of hell. <laughs> it's, been it's been a tough, short walk, isn't it? Yeah, it's been ridiculous. But, are the views worth it? I think so. Third stopper. Approximately there. The next ones look a little bit too dangerous. I'm cracking that one. It's tough to get up here. Carl's just wringing his t shirt out. It's that sweaty. How do you feel about that? Amazing. When we were standing up there, I was starting to walk down. You sort of look over here and you're like, oh, that one. And that was that one. Oh, well, that one would be cool to get to. And that was the next one. Oh, that one would be cool to get to. That's this one. We are at the top of that one. Just zigzag down and zig straight back up. Wow. He doesn't really show how steep that actually is, does he? No, but we're goosed already. That was amazing. Absolutely incredible. But oh my goodness. You could wring your shirt out. Honestly, like. You can't even describe the warmth. It's so hot right now. So hot. But totally worth it. We oh are um, just walking to the bus, which is going to take us back to the guest house. We're going to have some lunch, relax for a little bit, um, and then we're going to uh, yeah, chill out. And then we're going to do our last hike, or our next hike, which is up to the actual wall that we're going to be sleeping at. Yeah. That way. We're going to camp on the wall. <laughs> It's nasty. It's nasty. Oh. Stuffed. Deep fried aubergine. Was a best seller. Was a best seller. We've just finished eating and now packing. We're about to make our ascent of the Great Wall of China for the second time with all our camping gear this time. About a thousand bottles of water. Oh. 
We've travelled roughly 50 metres. We are drenched and having a water stop. Literally, look at that. The lady said to us as we left that we should be proud of ourselves because we're attempting to camp at the Great Wall on the hottest day of the year. Losers or what? So we've reached where we're staying tonight, which is just over there, and we've just come down to have a look over here. It's pretty cool. It's so much worth it, isn't it, Bex? Yeah. Bex is just doing a um, look at this. Though. You can just hear all the fireflies. The sun is nearing, going down. Six o'clock on the Great Wall of China. Sun's just risen. And we've just down camp. And it's roasted already. Got me stuck. Just take him to the But yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to the hike. Great. I mean, look at this. How great is this? Uh, now time for some breakfast. Peanut butter. <laughs> so, we're all washed and clean, finally. Woohoo! It's been an amazing 24 hours with going up the wall. It's nice to finally be clean. And now we've come back down, got showered, and now we're at the Lama, Lama temple. temple. So we're going to watch that. Going to watch what? Uh, going to look at that. You said that because she was watching She was watching me, me yeah. <laughs> we're also being watched constantly around here. I'm going to try and get a coffee, but um, the lads have spotted their new favourite drink. The Juice Man. Oh, so good. <laughs> Fan of that, are you lads? <laughs> Yeah. So we've just arrived at the Lima Temple. 25 RMB to get in. You can rent a headset for 50 kwai plus a deposit for a language tour. We've just decided to uh, explore ourselves. It's an extremely hot day as well and it's so hot that my back is like this. Not ideal but what can you do? What did you? Nothing you can do.
My back. Hey Val. I'm just trying to get us a DD to our next destination, which is the San Lutin area. I believe it's the foreigner area of Beijing. So we've had a bit of culture this morning with the Great Wall and the temple. And now we're going to go for a bit of uh, Western normality. Before the lads. Yeah, before um, the guys head off to Tokyo tomorrow. <coughs> and what are they doing in here? You can get in this fridge. Oh, <laughs> getting a bit of respite. <laughs> 